Let's say for this middleweight fight, Dan Miller, 30 years old. Husamar Palhares is 31. Miller is taller and will have a three inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean, our referee. The beautiful Ariani, Sean Della. Our entire crew here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And here we go. Miller in the black trunks, white trunks for the Brazilian. Paul Harris fighting in the UFC for the eighth time. Both men have five UFC victories. Both these guys are great individuals, different styles. Dan Miller, very well-rounded. Not really one thing that really stands out, but he's gonna fight hard, he's gonna fight to the end, he's gonna train hard for every single fight, and he'll take a fight on two days notice, three weeks notice, in Brazil, in the US, it doesn't matter. And Paul Harris is a guy who poses a lot of dilemmas once he brings his opponents to the, to the mat. Well, it's either going to be your leg or your arm or your neck. Guy's unbelievable. Whatever he can grab onto, he's going to try to rip off. That's for sure. He's built like a fire hydrant, as you can see. He, and uh, He looks no longer muscle. 185 as he was yesterday at the weigh-ins. Yeah, I'm sure he's probably about 205 right now. Big, strong middleweight. Very compact and powerful. Husamar Paul Harris, lead right hand. And he pulls guard. He's a wild, wild striker and has to be the most successful guy to fight in the UFC off of his back. I mean, look at it. He's already in an omoplata triangle position, and he's only been on his back for a few seconds. I've never seen someone as dynamic as him on the ground. Miller works his way through it. This is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt against Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Paul Harris under Marilla, Marilla Bustamante, the former UFC champion. Dan Miller under Jamie Cruz. Paul Harris possesses the same kind of submission skills as, as you compare to a guy with heavy, heavy hands. There's guys who could end the fight at any point with their hands. Paul Harris has the submission game where he can end the fight at any point with a leg lock, an arm lock, a choke. Phenomenal. And much like the highlight reel knockout, it is sudden and it is vicious. Absolutely. He's not looking to kind of casually go into a submission. He's looking to really get everything behind that lock and make sure that when he gets a lock, he's going to tap you out, or the ref's going to stop it. Miller with a full training camp in preparation for tonight's fight, but yet he fights in Brazil against the Brazilian, who now calls Rio de Janeiro home. Eight of his last nine oh. wins for Paul Harris have come by submission. Big shot, and down goes Miller. Paul Harris rocked him up. Miller gets back on top. Elbows from the bottom by Husamar. That front kick caught Miller right in the jaw. Knocked him down. Beautiful double leg from Paul Harris. Couldn't take advantage. And this is the heart of Dan Miller. He was in trouble. He was hurt. He came back, got a double leg of his own, and now he's back on top of Paul Harris. The front kick to the jaw. Just another example of a mixed martial artist who continues to blend all his skills together. You know, we talked about brothers fighting in the UFC. Jim Miller, of course, a very successful lightweight here in the UFC. And you can see Dan Miller, when he fights, it's his whole family behind him. His mom is in his corner tonight. Mom is a nurse. So she was over here helping him go through the cut process and getting back and ready to go. And, you know, two weeks out of a fight in Brazil against Paul Harris, there was no way that Dan Miller was going to miss little brother Jimmy's fight in Milwaukee. And now, of course, Jim is here for his older brother Dan, fighting in the UFC for the 10th time. Stand-up has been pretty even. Take away the big kick by Husamar Paul Harris. And a heavy right hand. Big overhand right from Paul Harris. His striking looks much improved, doesn't it, Kenny? I was just going to say that, Mike. You know, he's typically pretty wild, but uh, he's been throwing some pretty technical strikes out there. You know, very nice heavy leg kick. Looks like he's definitely tightened up the striking. Oh, my! Big head kick! Looking to finish this fight! He has not finished it. Look at that! Oh, my! Stop the fight. And 
and Husamal Parharis walked away thinking he had earned the victory. Herb Dean did not stop the fight. Parharis. I never stopped the fight. I've never seen, seen the fight, fight itself, yeah, but it's the referee that ends the fight. He Absolutely. So they continue. Wow. Oh, my oh. God. Now it's Miller. Miller. Miller caught him with a beautiful right hand just as he was entering. And now Miller has his opportunity to finish this fight. Pahar is pushing for Oh, my God. What a fight. Wow. Hey, what a crazy round. Pahar has got a little too excited at the end of that round. Got a little too excited when he knocked Miller down with that kick. He has to keep his head here. How do you feel? Can you see me? You good? Let's put this out. Dan, I just want you to listen to my voice, okay? Just listen to my voice. Take a nice deep breath. Now watch this, Kenny. Beautiful kick right on the neck of Miller, knocking him down. And watch Herb Dean in the background, though. Never, never. Herb Dean never waved his hands. Paul Harris just walks away thinking the fight is over. Really keep an eye on Herb Dean if you can see him from this angle. They were kicking at the exact same time. See? Herb Dean went in for a close look, never waved him off. Not even close. But a great look at the replay. Paul Harris Pretty was all the way up, and, and Miller even walked away like it appeared he thought it might have been stopped. I haven't seen anything like that. And then and Miller now, drops him. Beautiful left hand. It was a left hand that caught Paul Harris as he walked in. Dropped him. Wow. Unbelievable fight. Never seen before inside the octagon. And now it looks like Miller says he got poked in the eye. But he's still swinging away. Pahar is landing some very nice knees from the clinch position. Miller is hurt in that left eye. Yep. I don't know if that was a punch. I don't know if it was punch or poke. Yep. Oh! Look at the power of Pahar. He's on top again. What a fight. Now he's in a triangle. Throws him right aside. Miller looking for a triangle choke. Paul Harris, his counter, slam him. Paul Harris grew up in very humble surroundings. Gets very emotional when he speaks of his path to becoming a professional fighter. Both, both of these guys have really... Experience a lot of adversity in their personal life, and you can see it when they fight. The heart that they're displaying right now, and in all their fights, is evident. Look at this huge hammer fist by Husamar Paul Harris. His nickname, Tokinho, translates to tree stump in English. The perfect nickname. Yep. <laughs> tree stump that likes to break tree branches. And he's working to do so here. At least to break the will of the American. Parharis is landing some big ground and pound. Dan Miller needs to get off his back here. Look for a single leg to get back to his feet. He's covering up now. Yep, no one has stopped Dan Miller. The crowd showing their support for the Brazilian. Tough position here when you're in your guard up against the fence. It really limits your mobility as a ground fighter to utilize your guard. It Stops your hip game. Your submissions are going to be hard to finish. And when you got the strength of Pajares, he just picks you up and slams you as his counters. Continuing to pressure Miller. This is a fast, fast pace, especially when you're talking about middleweights. These guys have not rested one second. They're going right at it. Big round for Paul Harris, who is 21 and 3 in his MMA career. Dan Miller now seems to have a little bit of control over Pohares. Pohares is kind of resting a little bit, may have tired from the ground and pound. Landing some short elbows though is Pohares and Miller getting things under control, but he really needs to get this feet, get this fight back to his feet here. Under two. 
On the clock here in round two. Bloodied up is Miller on the bottom. More big shots from Toquinho. Man, you can hear the force of those punches to Miller. That is a powerful guy. You can see that he's basically rendered Miller's guard useless because he's putting so much pressure with his hips forward. And Miller can't really utilize his legs very well. He's Trying hurt. to get the stop here, Kenny. Yeah, Miller's hurt. He had an opportunity to get back to his feet. And I think the, the blood in the eyes is also a big factor. Tried to step through to Paul Harris. Miller looked to improve his position during that transition, but couldn't do so. Paul Harris looked to try to get a leg there. Miller countered very, very well. This is the effect of the big, strong opponent for Miller tonight and Paul Harris. Yeah, big shots, Mike. A lot of blood as well from those elbows that have caused cuts over the forehead and eyes of Dan Miller. And Miller really is having a lot of trouble up against that fence. Having been there, it is tough to do anything. And now when you get a powerful guy and an unbelievable ground guy like Paul Harris, it's tough to be effective there. Dean talking to Miller about defending himself or he'll stop this fight. Paul Harris really working towards the finish. Miller trying to survive the final 25 seconds of the second round. What heart by Dan Miller. And we've seen it over and over again. Every time he steps into the octagon. He always brings it. That is a huge cut. Wow. And a big hematoma over the left eye of Dan Miller. And you have to think that was a major problem being in his guard. Not seeing those punches go, uh, coming. They're going to have to work on that cut immediately. Set for the third and final round. Miller will get attended to in his corner. Give me a towel. Give me a towel. Give me a towel. Towel. Hey, Dan, you're doing a great job. I know you're hurt and I know you're tired. But so is he, Dan. I know you're hurt and I know you're tired. Dan. No, he's okay. He's okay. Mike Constantino. Just listen to my voice again as they work on it. You can see Paul Harris looking to get to that clinch position. He got a hold of the tie clinch, landed some nice knees. Now he's on top. And those were huge shots throughout that second round, Mike. And Miller, Miller was, that was close to being stopped. You won the first two. Don't risk. Former UFC middleweight champion Murillo Bustamante in the corner of Husamar Paul Harris. Miller and Paul Harris. And Paul Harris really worked diligently at the latter moments of that second round, Kenny, to try to finish this fight. It'll be interesting to see if he's fatigued at all. Yeah, you know, he looks like he's breathing pretty normally. And, and both these guys, it was such a fast, fast yeah. pace. And it's impressive to see that Paul Harris is still breathing normally but his arms do look a little tired there looks a little weary Miller wouldn't mind staying on the feet for a while getting one of the biggest and strongest members of the middleweight division away from the ground and pound yeah Dan needs to use his reach here Paul Harris is short and stocky so he's got to use that reach to advantage and not let Paul Harris on the inside that's where he's gonna land the big power and of course that's where he wants to go to get to the clinch Miller very patient with his striking. He does not want to get taken down. Because we saw Paul Harris able to even do a ton of damage inside the full guard of Dan Miller. Yeah, big power from Paul Harris. You know, typically he just transitions as soon as he can to a submission. But here we're seeing a Paul Harris that is using position and striking to try to get his win. Dan Miller, I'd like to see Dan Miller try to throw some kicks, some more kicks, get back to doing that kicking game, especially with that lead left kick. Try to go upstairs with that lead left kick and try to catch the shorter Paul Harris on the outside. Crazy round one where Paul Harris thought the fight was over, started to celebrate, then Miller almost knocked him out. This has been a, one of the craziest fights I've ever seen. Back and forth. Good kick, but a counter right hand by Miller. Miller's got to get those combinations working again. He doesn't have the power of Paul Harris, but if he can start to utilize his speed and reach, he can be effective. 
I mean, these Miller, these Miller brothers have as much heart and courage and warrior spirit as any member of the UFC roster present day. Every, every time you see these guys compete, very inspirational, exciting fighters, aggressive fighters, and this is no different. You can hear the crowd go nuts. This is probably the best crowd I've ever heard. The Brazilian Paul Horace with the leg kick. The counter by Miller in another combination. Again with the leg. One, two. Hoist Gracie here tonight. Beat poor Belfort doing the Portuguese broadcast. All the stars in Brazil this week, and they have been welcomed with open arms by these fine Brazilian UFC fans. Just over two minutes remain in this fight. Dan has really found some good success with his jab, landing some good one-twos. He needs to keep the pressure on Pajares here. He's down two rounds. Well, that first round was crazy, but he has to bring it here in this third round. This is what's going to determine if he can get the win here because he's definitely down two rounds. He needs to stop Pajares here. Again, no one has stopped Miller. Paul Harris came close, especially in the second round. But Miller has to feel a sense of urgency now with under 90 left. It was such a fast pace, Mike, those first two rounds. Both these guys are tired now. And Miller had a big, strong tree stump on top of him for the majority of the five minutes of round two. That's going to sap your energy, and, and, and Dan really... At this point, you can see it's taken a lot, lot off of his punches. He needs to go back with his kicking game. Nice jab from Dan Miller. Under a minute now. Nice body shot from Paul Harris. And again, changing levels, leading with the right to the body. This is a way more technical Paul Harris. You can see he's really been diligent and working on his striking. His head movement has looked great. And he used a lot of his gas tank trying to stop that fight in the second. Twenty seconds remain. Nice left hook from Paul Harris. These guys are just going on hard at this point. They're both dead tired. Their heart won't let them quit. They keep coming forward, looking for the knockout. They are going to fight to the finish here in Rio. What a fight. Our Paul Harris, Dan Miller, go the distance. Kenny, again, what a crazy first round where Husamar Paul Harris thought he had finished this fight. Very bizarre round, Mike. You can see it. Beautiful neck kick from Paul Harris. Paul Harris has him hurt, goes in for the finish, and walks away from him, thinking Herb Dean was going to stop the fight or stop the fight. Paul Harris gets on top of the octagon, not realizing the fight isn't over. Herb then Herb Dean said, no, I didn't stop it. Let's go. And boom, to he make, gets rocked. To make things even crazier, it was the left hand that ended up hurting. Paul Harris almost dropped him and almost finished the fight. These guys brought it tonight. One of the craziest fights I've ever seen. And Herb Dean was very clear. He never stepped in. Never made the motion, never pushed the fighter away, signifying that he had stopped the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score it 29-27, 30-27, and 30-25. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Husimar Tokinho! Unanimous decision tonight for Husamar. Here is Kenny Florian.
Tokinho, this is one of the craziest fights I've ever seen. Uh, that first round was amazing. You caught him with a big kick that dropped him. Uh, what, what happened there when you, when, you, when you went to go celebrate? You thought the fight was over. What happened there? Mas, se Deus quiser, eu vou consertando isso para frente. Yeah, it was a very, very hard fight. He was tough the whole way, but God willing, I was able to get this far. Were you hurt in that first round? You came back, he ended up dropping you. How hurt were you in that first round? É, ele conseguiu te dar um knockdown naquele, no, no primeiro round ainda. Como é que você estava? Você estava muito machucado? Não, quando eu estava bem. Muito bem, eu tô, eu passo por essa situação sempre. E eu estava bem, graças a Deus. I go through this a lot and I was feeling good. I was good. Congratulations. How does it feel to win here in Rio? Como é que foi se você ganhar no Rio? Foi uma emoção muito grande. Quero agradecer a Deus e fazer uma homenagem para um amigo meu que morreu há 15 dias dessa luta. É um cara que ajudou muito minha mãe, meus irmãos. Eu queria agradecer e falar, Fred, estamos com você. Essa vitória foi para você. E o meu professor que está ali, ele está por aqui, meu antigo professor de mim. This was a hard fight. I'm thankful for being here. This was an amazing opportunity, and I'd like to dedicate this fight, this victory, to a person who passed away 15 days back, who helped my family a great deal, who helped my mother and my brothers, and I'd like to also thank my, my coach, my, my trainer. Tokinho, congratulations. You're a warrior.